All right, welcome back to ABA exam review and the continuation of our sixth edition BCBA task list series. Today we're continuing measurement, data display, and interpretation with validity and reliability. When we talk about data, we're really looking for four ideas. We want accurate data, valid data, reliable data, and data that has inter-observer agreement. Today we're going to be discussing the validity and the reliability of our data. And now it's saying measurement procedures because, of course, we collect data when we measure. So we're going to go through each of these, what they mean, and how they're going to help you become better analysts and pass your exam. Please subscribe for all of our updates and share. Check out BehaviorAnalystStudy.com for all of our study materials. When you pass your exam, let us know so we can include you in the Sunday shout-out. Work hard, study hard. Let's get going. Let's start simple in behavior analysis. We must ensure our measurement procedures are both valid and reliable. So again, accurate, valid, reliable. Do we have inter-observer agreement? What do these things mean? Well, validity says, are we measuring what we intend to measure? If I have target behavior A, am I measuring target behavior A? And am I measuring it correctly? So. This is where topography actually plays a big role, right? Up till now, we've really hammered home function and the importance of function with data collection when it comes to being valid and reliable. We have to really lock in that topography through a good definition. A good definition is going to let us measure this behavior over and over. And then reliable, are we measuring the same way every time? Meaning if I'm measuring behavior A, am I measuring behavior A the same way each time? What you'll find a lot of times with technicians, if you're not observing them enough or supervising them enough, is they'll start to make small modifications, whether just through drift or maybe intentionally, to how they're measuring because they believe it might help data. Well, you as the analyst are the one choosing how that measurement should be collected. And so you need to write it how you want it done. And so reliability means even if I have the same plan in place for five years and I haven't changed anything about it, then that means that plan needs to be the same all five years. We've got to measure it the same way each time. If we lack either validity or reliability, our decisions based on data are compromised. Why? Because the data are going to be worse. So validity. Validity means the measurement accurately reflects the behavior of interest or the target behavior. So whatever measurement you have, right? And here's that word accuracy. Whatever measurement you have, it's reflecting the behavior of interest or target behavior. Additionally, it's relevant to your goals. So not only are we measuring what we intend to measure, but the data we are collecting is actually relevant for our goal so we can be effective and we can be socially valid. So how do we become valid? Well, we're clearly defining the behavior so that it is measurable and easy to identify consistently. And this keyword consistently. What we want, other than being accurate, valid, reliable, IOA, is consistency. In ABA, if I had to pick one thing, that is, I would say, underrated in ABA is consistency. You have to be consistent at everything you do, and that especially includes measurement. So we want to be consistent by looking at the right topography and defining it. Select your target behavior carefully and how you're going to measure that target behavior, right? Because once you pick that target behavior, you want it to be measured over and over. What are some threats to validity? Well, choosing the wrong measurement method if you are using frequency to measure a behavior that you want to change the length of, well, that's going to be an issue, right? Because that data you are collecting are no longer relevant to your goals. So you've got to pick that right measurement method that's going to help you achieve your goals. Poorly defined behaviors. If your behaviors are defined poorly, it's going to be difficult to measure that target behavior same way over and over again. And then observer reactivity. So one of the hardest parts about being an analyst is being able to supervise, let's say, your technicians or other professionals 
and preventing reactivity from affecting data collection. So reactivity plays a big role in how data are collected. Second, reliability. Here's that word again. Reliability refers to how consistently a behavior is measured across time, observers, or tools. So if validity is looking at the true reflection and we're me measuring what we're intending to measure, then reliability says we are consistently doing that over and over and over again. High reliability means results are repeatable and consistent. So you can trust that data are collected in a way that you know whenever you go to see that data, that data are being collected the same way as it was three weeks ago. And you don't have to question that. Inter-observer agreement plays a big role in reli reliability. So if you want to think of it as accuracy and validity kind of go hand in hand, IOA and reliability kind of go hand in hand. That's one way to view it. Threats include, again, vague definitions. So a vague definition is the quickest way to hurt your measurement. Your definitions need to be on point and clear and good and complete. Poor training. You need to train data collection well, and you need to supervise well. And then environmental distractions. If I'm one day at a client's house and their siblings are out the house, nobody's there except their mom, everything's quiet, everything's calm, then data collection becomes pretty easy. If I'm there for the next session and their siblings are home, their both their parents are home, they have family in town, and now it's a chaotic environment, well, reliability may suffer. So you've got to plan for that, and you've got to remind your technicians that even when the environment becomes distracting, you've got to focus on the data collection. So reliability example, you and your technician both record the same number of tantrums in a session for four consecutive sessions. One, we have IOA, right? But two, it's reliable because we're, we're recording that same thing over and over again. We're being very consistent. So how can we improve data? Well, we can write clear operational definitions. This is where it starts. This is where topography really comes into play. Choose the correct dimension to measure for what you're trying to achieve. Are you trying to achieve an increase in the number or the count? Or are you looking more for time-based? That's going to affect how you choose to measure. Use consistent observation conditions and observer training, meaning if the environment is constantly changing, conditions are constantly changing, data collection will also change because the environment is going to affect how data are collected. And then always check that inter-observer agreement and provide feedback on data collection. All right, so that's validity and reliability of measurement procedures. In other words, how do we collect good data? What makes good data? data. We're going to continue on with our six edition task list. We are trying to get these videos out quicker. I know we've had a lot of people requesting them. We're working to get these out as fast as possible. Be sure to subscribe so you get all of our updates and videos. Check out behavioranalyststudy.com for all of our study materials. When you pass your exam, let us know so we can include you in the Sunday shout out. Work hard, study hard. See you soon.